patients with obstructive pathologies such as cystic fibrosis and COPD suffer from stagnant, viscous, sticky mucus. This mucus is particularly difficult to mobilize and eliminate. The signal generated by the simiox is a succession of point depressions that deconstruct the mucus to liquefy it and to act on its thixotropy. It allows drainage of the mucus by passive and comfortable expiration without fatigue. Between each point depression, the patient is connected to atmospheric pressure, which prevents any compression of the bronchus. During the expiratory phases, the mucus deconstructs rapidly. It's transported and drained. During the inspiratory phases, it resumes its original form and properties and remains stagnant. There's no effective drainage if the mucus is not mobilized. This depends on prescribed bronchodilator and or anti-inflammatory and or mucofluidifying inhaler therapy, cleansing of the upper airways, nose washing, and state of relaxation and comfortable patient installation. Being able to achieve homogeneous inspiration, transport air behind the mucus and avoid premature coughing are essential conditions for the success of Simiox therapy. For two to three minutes, the patient is observed under spontaneous ventilation with a simple mouthpiece in order to become acclimatized to the use of the interface in the mouth. This allows visualization of the respiratory rate, respiratory discomfort, difficult expiration, dyspnea, the inspiratory-expiratory time ratio and the thoracic expansion quality. This allows identification of noises in the mouth, cough quality, breaks to be lifted and patient fatigability. The patient is seated or semi-seated. The right, left dorsal or ventral lateral decubitus positions can also be adopted. The shoulders are relaxed with the head slightly extended. The appliance is plugged in. Check the filter and the hygiene of the interface according to the operating instructions. The mouthpiece is placed in the mouth like a trachea extender, keeping the glottis open. It must be placed on the patient's tongue and maintained between the teeth. The patient holds the tip with the left hand and the device controller with the right hand, if right-handed. Perform the first sessions at low power. Gradually increase the power when the patient has learned how to use the device and is able to diffuse the vibration in the bronchial tree. Any area not supplied with air will not benefit from the action of the Simiox technology. The inspiration must allow homogenization of the ventilation necessary to transport air behind the secretions. The Simiox action is based on a transfer of energy between air and mucus. The physiotherapist scrupulously accompanies this step and teaches the patient how to inspire correctly. The expiration must in no case be forced, but quite the contrary carried out as a sigh with an open glottis, in order not to disrupt the simiax action on the viscosity of the secretions. The patient must not actively blow into the device. At the beginning of this relaxed sigh, the patient triggers the simiax. He perceives throughout the duration of his expiration the vibration that modifies the rheology of his mucus and transports it. The amplitude of the vibratory signal increases with a decreasing pulmonary volume. Vibratory amplitude is a major performance criterion. It's essential to work in pulmonary volumes that mobilize the mucus present in the distal respiratory tract. Each respiratory cycle causes the patient to take in the functional tidal volume, which he can move to the targeted areas. Warning! Excessive or prolonged exhalation may cause premature coughing and a rapid inspiration. During the first use, the patient may perceive the vibrations in the mouth and in the nose. They will disappear and be replaced by bronchial vibrations after a few sessions of learning the technique.